Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's question is a genetic locus that is analyzed in many forensic and paternity testing laboratories is a human leukocyte antigen locus known as HLA DQ alpha. There are four major alleles at this locus known as 1, 2, 3 and 4. How many different genotypes are possible for these four alleles? In genetic testing allele doesn't mean the same thing as we usually get used to. For example, we have a gene and that gene has different mutations and those genes with different mutations we call alleles. But in this case, allele we call something different. Imagine that we have some core sequence, for example, T, A, T, C, and that sequence may repeat multiple times. For example, T, A, T, C, two times, T, A, T, C three times. In some people we may see it repeat one time, two times, in other people three times. So that is definition of the allele that in certain locus some people have one number of repeats of the core sequence, for example three repeats, and in the same locus but on the chromosome that a uh, person got from the other parent may have different number of repeats in the same locus. But this is non-functional sequence that doesn't code for anything. And such loci were just selected because they have higher frequency of the different variants of the repeats of the core sequence in population. Because we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, that means that if we study one locus, we actually going to study two loci, two identical loci on the two chromosomes, one inherited from the one parent, say father side, another from the mother side. They can be identical, so would have the same number of repeats or may have different number of repeats. For the simplicity, let's say that number one, two, three and four directly corresponds to the number of repeats of core sequence in certain locus. And in order to find all the genotypes possible, let's just build simple Punnett square. So on one side we are going to have one, two, three and four, four alleles. And on the other side also one, two, three and four. Again, four alleles. And now let's build simple Punnett square. It's going to be four by four. And this Punnett square is going to represent all possible combinations. But don't think that there are 16 combinations because we have here 16 cells. Take a look what's going to happen. One repeat inherited from the mother side and another one repeat inherited from the father side. Here we may have two repeats inherited from the mother side and two repeats from the father side. Three repeats from the mother side and three repeats from the father side. Four and four here. If for example you would belong to this genotype for this particular locus, you are going to get only one band if you run a gel electrophoresis because these two alleles of the same size and you will see just one band here. You also would see one band for this locus because two repeats from the mother side and two repeats from the father side, these alleles are of the same size and the same is true for these two variants. And take a look what other variants we may get, two and one, three and one, four and one here, one and two here, three and two here, four and two here, and also one and three here, two and three here, four and three here, and one and four here, two and four here, three and four here. These combinations on this diagonal would happen only once, but combinations, for example, in this cell and in this cell happens twice. And this combination and this combination 
is the same. For example, if you are going to run a gel, you are going to get one band with two repeats and one band with one repeat. This seems like it's different genotype, but also you're going to get one band with one repeat and another band with two repeats. So they are going to be on the gel the same, uh, would be identical. So one and three equal to three and one. Or say four and one and one and four is going to be also the same genotype. Three and two, two and three is going to be the same genotype. That means that we can cross out all this half and we are going to get four unique uh, combinations that produce one band plus one, two, three, four, five, six combinations that produce two bands. So total number is 10. And as you see, this is answer B. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.